Let's set up Media Streamer on a PS4 using DNS. To follow along with the video, you'll need a PS4 with an internet connection and an ExpressVPN subscription. The setup process has three main steps. First, you'll create a DDNS host name. Second, you'll register your host name with ExpressVPN. And third, you'll configure DNS on your PS4. To set up a DDNS host name, you'll need to use a third-party service. For this tutorial, we'll use Dynu, a free DDNS service provider. Note that ExpressVPN is in no way affiliated with Dynu, and you are free to use whatever DDNS service provider you choose. To set up a Dynu account, visit dynu.com. At the top right corner of the screen, click Create Account. Fill in the necessary information before clicking Submit. A message will display saying Dynu will send you a verification email. Check your email and click on the link. You'll need to log into your Dynu account using the username and password you just created. Once you log in, click on DDNS Services on the left side. Then click Add in the top right corner. You have two options for the next step. Most users will want to select option 1 but advanced users familiar with setting up their own domain can select option 2. If you select option 1, simply create your desired host name and enter it in the blank on the left. If you select option 2, enter your existing domain in the blank on the right. Now click Add. On the next screen, uncheck Wildcard Alias and enable IPv6 address. Then click Save. Your Dynu account is now set up. Go to the ExpressVPN website. Click My Account in the top right corner. Then enter the email you used to set up your ExpressVPN account, as well as your ExpressVPN password. Click Sign In. On the next page, click DNS Settings on the top right corner. Scroll down to a section titled Dynamic DNS Registration. Enter the host name you just created with your Dynu account. If you used option 1 when setting up DDNS with Dynu, the host name will follow the format hostname.dynu.com. If you used option 2, simply enter the domain you used. Click Save Host Name. The word updated will flash on screen to let you know the host name was saved. Return to the page under the My Subscriptions tab, then click Set Up ExpressVPN. On the next page, select PlayStation on the left side of the screen. A DNS server IP address will appear on the right side of the screen. Make a note of it, as you'll soon be entering it on your PS4. Now it's time to turn on your PS4. Open the Settings menu. Then select Network, followed by Set Up Internet Connection. You will then be asked whether you want to use Wi-Fi or a LAN cable to connect to the Internet. Select the option that you want to use. When asked, how do you want to set up the internet connection? Select Custom. For IP address settings, select Automatic. Then, for DHCP host name, select Do Not Specify. Next comes DNS settings. Select Manual, followed by Primary DNS. Now it's time to enter the IP address you found on the ExpressVPN website. When you have finished entering it, select Done. Leave the secondary DNS as it is and select Next. For MTU settings, select Automatic. And for Proxy Server, select Do Not Use. A message will appear saying Internet settings have been updated. Select Test Internet Connection. You're almost done. You just need to restart your PS4. To do so, return to the home screen. Then select Power and Restart PS4. Congratulations, you've set up Media Streamer on your PS4 using DNS. However, remember that DNS is not a VPN and does not offer the same privacy protection. If you want to get VPN protection on your PS4, consider connecting it to the internet through a router running the ExpressVPN app for routers.